right, here I am in class, ready for another lecture by Professor Smarty Pants. Got my water, I've got, you know, I've got my gear, I'm good to go. Um, I also got this thing, my trusty laptop. The question is, what do I do with this? Do I use it in class? Am I allowed to use it in class? Maybe in some classrooms I'm not even allowed to use it, but a lot of places I'm allowed to use it. A lot of people don't really bother to go to the trouble to limit my personal freedom in a way that wouldn't allow me to use this in class. So I have a choice to make. I can sit here uh, with this closed. I can maybe not bring this with me to class, in which case I'll probably mess with my phone or something like that. Um, but you know, how am I going to use technology in the classroom? Like a lot of other questions concerning technology, I would argue this has less to do with the technology and more to do with what I'm doing with that particular piece of technology. So I'm here, you know, I paid money to be here. Somebody paid money for me to be here. I'm sitting in a classroom. Someone's going to try to impart some knowledge that I am here to try to soak up. So this device can facilitate that. It can if I use it properly. So if I'm sitting here, you know, taking notes with my laptop, good use of technology. Um, looking up information online about the topics that we're discussing, potentially good use of technology. Um, you know, engaging maybe in uh, things in the classroom. So some of my courses, I have my slides online for students to use. Maybe that's a good use of technology, following along. So I'm both sort of seeing things here, looking it up in there, writing some stuff down, trying to engage myself in multiple ways in the material. Good use of technology. If I'm sitting here, you know, chatting, uh, posting on Facebook, watching soccer games, which I've seen students doing in class, which I think is a very interesting way to thing to do in class, um, surfing the internet about random stuff, uh, maybe not such a good use. So how you use this device in the classroom is really up to you, obviously. In many cases, no one is gonna tell you what to do. No one is gonna say you can't use this. No one is gonna say you should use it. You're an adult, you get to make your own choices. But I would just keep in mind, you know, you're here, you're here to learn, you have a period of time where you can try to soak up some information. At some point, you're gonna go out in the world and you're gonna have lots of time to use this device. Maybe it's a good time to keep it closed, although maybe not. If you're using this to support learning in the classroom, I would say go for it. If you're watching a soccer game, I would say watch the soccer game at home. 